Good morning, dear students. Today our lesson is about lateral fractions. Before we get started, let's remind ourselves. A plus A is 2A because apple plus an apple, they are two apples. If we have B plus B plus B, it's a 3B. Why? Because, for example, banana plus a banana plus a banana equals three bananas. So it's a 3B. Okay? But if we have 2A, two apples plus one banana, they are two apples plus one banana. We can say they are three apples. They are not three bananas. They are two apples plus one banana. We cannot simplify this anymore. So, ma fina nhalla baad. Khalas, hai hiye. 2A plus B. So please keep in mind that a plus a is 2a, whereas a times a is a squared, because a is repeated two times. Okay, so when we have times, we introduce the power, but if it's a plus a, it's 2a. And now we are going to start with our uh, lesson, which is literal fractions. They are fractions that contain letters, so uh, containing variables denoted by letters, just as this example, 3 plus b over 4x. So it's defined when the denominator is not 0, مثل أي fraction, denominator يكون 0. So let's start with some rules which we are familiar with. Minus a over b, it's the same as a over minus b, it's the same as minus a over b. Because we, are, we if we have my negative over positive, the answer will be negative, as, uh, as in the final answer, and we will we'll divide a over b. Also, if we have positive over negative, the answer will also be negative, and we will divide a over b. So it doesn't really matter where should we put the minus, as long as the answer will be negative and we will divide a over b so in this example minus 4 over 3 so it doesn't really matter if it is minus 4 over 3 of, or it is 4 over minus 3 because the answer will be minus 4 uh, over 3 in both cases so they are all all of these three fractions are equal moreover if we have minus a over b over minus b Negative over negative, they as if they are will cancel each other, and the answer will be a over b. For example, minus seven over minus eight, the answer is seven over eight. So to simplify a literal fraction, I should have a common factor. So in this example, I have three minus y as a common factor. I simplify it with each other, and the answer will be four over seven. Also, in this example, w squared over w cube. So I can simplify w square and w square from here. And the answer is 4 minus a over w. Addition and subtraction of literal fractions. As you know, we should have same denominators. Now, the denominator here m and here is n. So m to be n, we should multiply m by n and n by m. We should multiply them by each other. So, we, of course, we'll multiply the numerator also. Here are the answers. We have same denominator. We can add them. But remember, we cannot add 2n plus tm. Because the variable is n, the variable is tm. M, so they are different. Another example, 2a over x minus 3y over 5x. How many denominators x to 5x? I can, but the other one about on x by 5x will 5x by x. Fi how will x la 5x? So if I only multiply x by 5. مثل ما شايفين قدامكم حيصير عندي denominator 5x and they have the same denominator and I can subtract 10a minus 3y but for same reasons لأنه هون عندي ال variable different هوني a وهوني y I cannot simplify so this is the final answer also, another way to find uh, the denominator, the common denominator, for example, here uh, n over 12 plus t over 16, 12 and 16 are different denominators. We can find a common denominator by the method of LCM, which is the least common multiple. 
that is to find the uh, least common multiple of the denominators 12 and 16 and we do that by performing the LCM the prime factorization of 12 and the prime factorization of 16 and we will obtain the following uh, common factors we will uh, we will obtain uh, 12 written as product of prime factors and 16 written as product of prime factors LCM is all the product all the common factors factors with the highest exponent if the same uh, prime number is found for example here 2 power 2 and 2 power 4 we choose 2 power 4 because it's the highest uh, exponent and the 3 we write it so lcm يعني مثل كانه كل كل prime numbers باعلى exponent بينما كنا ناخذ السنه الماضيه جي سي دي uh, بس الكومون باوتا اكسبوننت المهم so after we find the LCM here we need to uh, like transform 12 على هيدا ال LCM نحاوله و16 نحوله على هيدا النمبر هلا ال easiest way ما انا 12 I know it انه هي 2 power 2 times 3 so uh, اسهل طريقة هي انه 2 power 2 حولها لهي لبتشبه 2 power 4 و 3 هي اصلا موجودة so 2 power 2 لتصير 2 power 4 it's times 2 power 2 لما نقصها 2 power 2 so كأنه I multiply the 12 by 2 power 2 which is 4 طيب هلق 16 لحتى حولها يعني هي 2 power 4 16 لحتى حولها لشي بيشبه ال LCM هي 2 power 4 هي 2 power 4 هي ذاتها نقصها بس ل 3 so 16 لحولها لل LCM بدها times 3 so I multiply by 3 here and here is uh, how I multiply the first fraction by 4 the second fraction by 3 and I obtain the same denominator then I can add and for n plus 3t I cannot add them anymore لأنه هو different variables over 48 multiplication of literal fractions it's the easiest to multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator so as you can see here 2 times t to t over mn also we have in the second example minus 2a times minus 3x minus times minus it's a plus 2 times 3 it's 6 and a times x it's ax in the denominator 5 times 7 35 x times x is x squared we see if we can simplify anything uh, x and x squared it can be simplified then the answer is 6a over 35 x Division of literal fractions. Now the division is the same. Remember we have the three keywords skip, flip and multiply. So the division we will uh, turn it to multiplication and then we flip the second fraction. So 2 over m we keep it as it is. We skip it and then we flip the division to multiplication sign and 2 over m becomes n over t. And now we multiply normally 2 times n and m times t and here's the answer. We cannot simplify. Another example, m over n divided by n over m. I put on purpose this example because some students are really excited to start solving and they usually cross m with m and n with n and we're, we're done. No. So remember, we have division, skip, flip, and multiply. We should flip the second one. Division becomes multiplication and flip the second fraction. And now we multiply. So as you can see, no, nothing is canceled with each other. M times M and N times N. It's M squared over N squared. And we cannot simplify anything. In the following example, we need to add the following three fractions. And to do so, we should have same denominators. So we have the denominators 5, uh, 4, and 10. We need to have same denominator. As I explained before, we have the method of LCM. So uh, using the method of LCM, we need to find the prime factorization of the first denominator and the second and the third and here's what we do, we do. so we must we will find the prime factorization of uh, the three of them and then we find the LCM now our second step is to uh, transform each of the following denominators to this number which is the LCM and as I told you the easiest way to do that 
is to look at this these numbers here. So in order to transform 5 into 2 power 2 times 5, the, the missing number is 2 power 2. So we multiply the following fraction by 2 power 2, I mean by 4. And in order to transform the second fraction, which has a denominator of 4, which is 2 times 2, 2 power 2, yani, 2, 2 power 2 times 5, we need to multiply it by 5. And in order to transform the third fraction, which has a denominator of 10, to 2 power 2 times 5, 10 it's 2 times 5. لحتى نحولها ل 2 power 2 times 5 نقصني بس 2 وحدة بتصير مثلا. So I multiply 10 by 2. Okay? So, uh, and here are the answers. أو فيكن uh, تعملوا طريقة منتلي يعني من دون ما تعملوا ال LCM. يلي هي أول أول فكرة في كنت تعملوها تسألوا حالكم مين أكبر رقم بالدنومينيتورز هون 5, 4, or 10 10 so في حول 5 ل 10 yes في بضرب ب 2 في حول 4 ل 10 لا فهي أول فكرة مش زابطة طيب الفكرة الثانية يلي ممكن تزبط إن كنت تفكروا برقم موجود بالجداول الضرب تبع الخمسة والأربعة والعشرة إذا كانوا أرقام صغيرة يعني خمسة والأربعة والعشرة بعرفهم جداول الضرب تبعهم بشوف مين في رقم موجود بهاو ثلاث جداول يلي هي العشرين طيب الخمس ضرب شو بيعطيني عشرين خمسة ضرب أربعة أربعة ضرب شو بيعطيني عشرين أربعة ضرب خمسة وعشرة ضرب شو بيعطيني عشرين وعشرة ضرب اثنين سو so بهاي الطريقة حولتهم كلهم ل 20 After I uh, transform them into, into the same denominators, now I can add the numerators. So as you can see here, five, uh, sorry, eight and two, جمعناهم سوا وعطن ten لأن the numbers بجمعون سوا. أما five t بخلتهم كما هي five t. And uh, now I can notice that بين ال ten وال five في عندي uh, common factor which is five. So we have common factor 5, 10 over 5 becomes 2, and 5 divided by 5 becomes 1t. So we have taken common factor. Now I can simplify 5 and 20, and here is the final answer. In this example, we have in the denominator letters a over b. The second one is not a fraction, so we uh, we can put it over one. But see a fraction عادي. وهاي دي هي uh, number. طيب ال a over b في حوله على three أو في أعمل uh, لل a b prime factorization أكيد لا. So ال a b لحتى حوله ل ل three ما فيه و three لحتى حوله ل a b ما فيه. So شو بدي أعمل بدي أضربهم ببعضهم. Okay. هلا ال a b بضربها ب 3 بتصير 3AB وال 3 بضربها ب AB بتصير 3AB وهيدي بما انه هي over 1 ما بحكي الهامة يعني بحطها times 3AB so بصيروا كل الدنومينيتورز عندي هن 3AB and اكيد بضرب ب numerators and now I can add them بما انه هيدي عندي 6AB وهيدي AB يعني AB وحدة وهيدي 6AB then بصيروا 7AB so 6 plus 7ab over 3ab. هون فكرة كتير مهمة. في أنا إجي أعمل هيك أخطش ab مع ab. أكيد لا. So انتبه كتير منيح لهاي الفكرة. ليش لا؟ لأنه في أنا عندي هون plus بالنص. So بس لما يكون في أنا عندي plus بالنص ما في أنا إجي أعمل simplify. بكون تنتبه إنه لازم تعملوا common factor بالأول ترجع تعملوا simplify. وهون بين 6 و 7ab ما في عندي common factor. So this is the final answer. ما في أعمل simplify.